Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have my long awaited part water update one to my 2022 Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Before we jump in, I am wearing the new Natasha Denona pastel palette on my eyeballs today. We did a cute minty greenish look for St. Patrick's today. I am very into it. So if you want to see a review or more looks on this palette, let me know. I'd be more than happy to film some more things for you guys. I will be honest, this is not my most exciting update. I've been working on these shades for about like a month and a half now. Um, and I just haven't been wearing makeup. I'm having a lot of like hormonal outbreak on my face. So I haven't really been like full facing it recently. I've done a lot of really natural no makeup makeup lately and I've kind of pushed this project to the back burner but I am very interested in it keeping it going so I wanted to update where I'm at so far um, and I do have a pan at least to share. <laughs> Please forgive the mess behind me. I have a lot of stuff to catch up on, a lot of cleaning to do and this room is not the cutest right now. So let's go ahead and share my bonus pan. I've been unofficially doing an A to Z project pan. If you guys, again, wanna see that, I would love to start that up video-wise. I just have not. But the shadow I hit pan on is part of that project. This is from my ColourPop Disney Masquerade palette. And the shade I have been working on is Jolly, which is right over here. It's just this really pretty neutral. Um, and it was, of course, was my letter D in my A to Z project pan. I, let me see how many times I use this actually. It only took me six uses to hit pan on this. I already had a pretty big dip because I believe I either pulled it into my project pan, those eyeshadows last year, or I've just been unofficially working on it. But as you can see, there is a nice pan. So we have two pans in this palette. Very exciting. And now for the actual shades in the project. The first one comes from my ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. And the shade I've been working on is Hello Salem, which is this top mauve shade right up in the corner here. I've been using this mainly as a crease or a transition shade. It's been very easy to work into looks. I've only used this shade five times in the project so far, so I am going to keep it in, um, but it is a very, very pretty, just easy, neutral. You can mix it in with a lot of different things. You can do pink looks or neutral looks. It is a very diverse shade. You can do a lot of things with it. So I am going to continue to work on this shade. Shade number two comes from my Anastasia Prism palette and the shade that I have is Eternal. And that is this bronze shade down here. I only used this one seven times in the project so far. Um, of course, this is the first update, so a little bit of a slow start. Uh, I just honestly am not feeling the shade anymore. I paired it a lot with Jolly from the Midnight Masquerade palette. That was the first shade I showed with the pan. Uh, I really enjoyed it, um, but honestly, not feeling it anymore. So I think I am going to roll this out for now. It'll still be eligible for the project, but I just need a break from it for right now, honestly. Shade number three is Wind from my ColourPop Frozen 2 Anna palette. And that is this top shade, top middle. It's kind of like a mustard neutral shade. I have used this a total of 13 times this cycle, this update, um, for a grand total of 40 uses because this was in my project for a couple months last year as well. Honestly, I'm at that point where I'm determined to hit pan on it. I'm also like doing really good on charades down here. Like this is just a good palette. Um, but I am determined to hit pan on this. So I am going to keep it in uh, and see if I can get closer to that. Uh, again, I've been using this more as just a neutral transition-y shade. So this top one, uh, Hello Salem, I've been doing more cool tone pinky looks. And this one I've been using almost the same exact way, just with warmer, more bronze or more neutral looks. So they're, kind of both slow to to work through because I use them uh for the same purpose just with very different looks uh but with the amount of progress I've made I'm hoping to actually hit pan on it because 40 uses is a lot for an eyeshadow especially a color pop shade shade number four comes from my big bloodlust Jeffree Star palette and the shade that I've been working on is monarchy this nice little taupe shade down here and I actually 
I was thinking about keeping this in. In fact, I planned on keeping it in, but now looking at it, I just feel like it's very similar to the other one. So I'm going to veto that and we're going to actually redraw shade for a second. Sorry, I'm like doing stuff in my head now. Okay, so the original plan was to keep this shade in. It is just this matte beige neutral khaki shade. Khaki would be, I think, the closest shade name. Um, I've used this one six times this month and I used it the exact same way I've used Hello Salem and Wind. So for that reason, because there are three shades that I'm using in very similar ways, I am going to actually roll this one out for now. Again, it will still be eligible for this project. But I just can't have three shades that I use in the same exact way and still feel motivated to work through the project. So I am going to draw a new shade in place of uh, Monarchy, but it's been fun. I actually loved having this palette out because I got to play with the purples, this green shade right here, so fun. The only downside is this is so bulky, so it's been just sitting on my desk and being obnoxious. Uh, but we tried, we tried. Shade number five comes from my Melt Beetlejuice palette. This is the recently deceased palette and the shade I've had is Lost Souls, which is this matte purple right here. I've actually really liked it. I've only used it twice this month because I was scared to really dip into a limited edition palette, but I have loved the two looks that I used this with. I can't remember what looks they were exactly, but I do remember that I used it in the outer kind of third or outer corner of my look to really deep it, like deepen it up and give it that fun purple punch. I very much liked it, so I will be continuing to use this shadow. Let me quick swatch it. It is such a fun shade, super pretty. Oh, I accidentally put it over the other swatch that I did, so let me like, yeah, there we go. That's a little better, more purple. It's a very fun shade. I love this palette dearly. It's kind of hurt my heart to work on it, but I have so much eyeshadow, I need to just use it. So we are going to continue to work on this one as well. For my individually selected shade, I had originally pulled in my Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette uh, in the shade Stay Current, which is this one right here. Let me see if I can angle it. I do have a pan in there. I think you can see that. Uh, so I worked on this one religiously last year in my project and I was determined to hit pan on it. So I decided to use this one as my hand selected shade for this update. And it only took me two uses to hit pan on this since rolling it in for a grand total of 50 uses to pan total, which is nice because this was a brand new palette when I rolled it in. So I've made a lot of progress on this one. I'm very happy with it. Uh, but because I hit pan so quickly, I decided to bring in another shade, which I also happened to hit pan on. The other shade in question, again, is from my Frozen 2 on a palette. Uh, and I had chosen Scooch in up here, which is this white inner corner shade. I use this primarily as a brow bone. Uh, uh, oh, that is the brow bone. A brow bone, an inner corner highlight. It was a very fun color to work with, especially while I'm working on these two shades. So I'm very pleased that I was able to hit pan on this one as well. And it took me nine uses to hit pan on it. I already had a good dip going on. Um, I've been unofficially working on this one for a while, so that is my other pan. Three new pans in this update. How exciting. So let's go ahead and draw two new shades. Um, we're going to randomize two, and then I've already picked out the one I want to work on. The first shade I drew comes from my Naked 3 palette, and the shade I selected is Dark Heart, which is this very deep plum shade all the way at the end, very similar to Stay Current. Honestly, I don't think I'll have an issue hitting pan on this. I will use it almost, if not the exact same as I use Stay Current, which is as a faux liner, really smoke out those looks. And if I'm very light handed, I can use it as an outer corner deepening up shade. I feel like that'll be a very good shade to work on. This palette is very near and dear to my heart as it is the palette I wore when I got married and also the palette I wore when my husband and I started dating. So I am excited to get some use out of this and bring back some fond memories. 
so this will be fun this is definitely one of the older palettes in my collection I love getting to use some of the things that I don't typically reach for as much anymore. The second shade I drew comes from my ColourPop Lush Life palette. It is not a video unless I have a million ColourPop shades. And the shade I drew is Monsoon, which is this deep blue. It's not quite an indigo. I say it's more of like a cobalt blue. Um, it's very pretty. I totally effed that swatch up, but it's a very pretty color. I haven't gotten to play around with this palette much either. Um, I am excited to play around with that blue. I think especially with spring, these brighter colors are gonna be a lot of fun. So that is the other shadow. And let me show you the shade that I've selected for myself to work on this month. It comes from my Natasha Denona Love Palette. And the shade I have chosen is Giving, which is this really pretty pink metallic. I actually discovered today it's a dupe for uh, one of the Kaleido shades in the Escape Pod palette. They are identical, but this is a very pretty metallic. I just felt like with all of the matte shadows that I have going on, I really want something shimmery. I love to use shimmers in my look, so why not? incorporate a shimmer into the project. I think this one will pair very nicely with these two shades up here. Um, possibly the purple, I could do something with that. Uh, and of course, this is pretty universal, the deep shade. So that is the color story we are working on today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the update and seeing some pans. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the future updates. I also create playlists of all of my panning content if you want to binge watch any of last year's project and this year's project. I have a mass project pan playlist. I will link in the description below and in the cards. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.